Welcome back to part two of our video series on peripheral neuropathy and multiple sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis can develop at any age. However, it's more commonly diagnosed in people in their 20s and older. This progressive neurological disease is an autoimmune disorder where the immune system attacks the protective outer layer of the nerve fibers, causing communication problems between your brain and the rest of your body. In this video, we'll take a look at the possibility of successfully treating peripheral neuropathy if you have MS. We'll discover if it's even possible to treat or reverse multiple sclerosis. You're in for some exciting information, so don't go anywhere. Coming up. Thanks for joining me again. If this is your first time watching our videos, I'm Dr. Valerie Montero, leading expert in peripheral neuropathy, and more importantly, on how to overcome it. My mission is to empower every peripheral neuropathy sufferer with the knowledge to successfully recover and start living again. I promise you're in for some new and exciting information that you've never heard before. Dr. Coppola and I work very hard to stay up to date with the most current research. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel, just click on the button and also on the bell so that you get notified as soon as we publish new content. Now, let's get started with part two of this three-part video series. First, did you know that MS occurs to two to three times more commonly in women than in men. Studies show that increased body fat is a large culprit in MS. The higher the levels of fat in your body, the more inflammation that occurs. And women, by the very nature of our estrogen hormones, carry more fat than men. Now, this part is only my humble opinion based on plausible scientific theory, but I'm guessing with the growing epidemic of obesity in both men and women, we're probably gonna see the incidence of MS increase in the male population as well. This is merely my own educated hypothesis. Now, there has been a proven link between vitamin D deficiency and autoimmune disorders, including MS, and studies have shown that there's a higher incidence in vitamin D deficient women than men. So we can clearly see right now why we have a higher percentage of MS occurring in women than we do in men. If you missed the first part of this video series, don't worry. I'll include the links down below in the description box for you so that you can catch up. Okay. Now, let's talk about if it's possible to reverse peripheral neuropathy if you have multiple sclerosis. And is it possible to reverse MS? Whew, this is a big topic. So I'm gonna break this up into two parts. Let's start with part A. Can peripheral neuropathy be reversed if you have MS? Well, this really is a tricky question because the answer isn't a simple one. I can tell you, if you'd asked either Dr. C or myself this question six years ago, we would have said, we have absolutely no clue. Well, we were forced to get a clue when an MS patient came into our office who was also suffering with neuropathy. She developed peripheral neuropathy 20 years after being diagnosed with her MS. So when she came to us in 2016, she was debilitated by both diseases. She asked us if we could help her with her peripheral neuropathy. We were very honest and told her we had absolutely no idea if our treatment method would really work on her because her MS may pose complicating factors and some serious challenges to healing the nerves. But if she was willing to give it a try, we were willing to make a go of it. Well, she had a very positive outlook and she said, well, I have absolutely nothing to lose, so let's do this. I've got to tell you, both Dr. Coppola and I were holding our breaths because we had no idea what the outcome would be. But after a few months, Diana began to notice improvement in her symptoms. <sighs> we could breathe again. Understand, 
This was extremely rattling for us because we take everyone's journey very personally. Because remember, I went through this with my mom's battle with peripheral neuropathy. So I know what these people are going through physically, mentally, and emotionally. When Diana first came to us, she was alternating between using a wheelchair and a walker because her balance and her leg strength were so bad. Otherwise, she would fall frequently and really sustain horrible injuries. After a few months on our treatment regimen, which included placing her on our nerve support formula, Neforia CM Golden Blue, using photobiomodulation, using near infrared light, and whole body vibration, we could finally feel she, well, actually, she said she could finally feel her feet again. And several months later, she didn't need the wheelchair or the walker, and she would only use a cane on occasion when her MS would flare up. After Diana's case, we worked with several more patients with MS and peripheral neuropathy complex together, and we had the same very good results. So let's get back to the question. Can peripheral neuropathy be successfully treated if you have multiple sclerosis? And the answer is yes, but there's a caveat to this. So I'm going to add in an important side note here that I want you guys to pay attention to. With the MS present, it's less likely that the peripheral nerves will fully heal or regenerate because it's like trying to put out a fire when someone else is pouring in some gasoline, even if it's at a trickling rate, into the same fire we're trying to put out. So this means there will be flare-ups of peripheral nerve damage and its symptoms, but the longer you stay on top of the healing, the peripheral nerves, the less serious the exacerbations may be, and the more function you can potentially regain. Now, don't let this discourage you. I want you to see this as the positive that it is, because you can get really enormous, enormous results, and your life can be improved by, well, literally almost tenfold. If you want to hear Diana talk briefly about her journey, I'll include a link for you in the description box down below. Okay, let's talk about part B. Can MS be cured? At this point, we don't have definitive evidence that multiple sclerosis is curable. However, there are many anecdotal cases from people who feel their MS has been completely and permanently reversed. If you're not familiar with the term anecdotal, it means medical evidence based on the analysis of individual cases, not on a group study. Now, most doctors are very quick to dismiss anecdotal evidence because they feel that it can be based on hearsay, faulty reasoning, or an unidentified precipitating factor. And in many cases, they may be right. However, we should never forget the fact that our greatest research studies have begun with mere anecdotal evidence. That's how it's either confirmed or refuted. We always must have an open mind and investigate to best serve our patients. In fact, Dr. Rafael Campo, a well-respected doctor of internal medicine and professor at Harvard Medical School, not to mention author of eight highly acclaimed books and recipient of many awards and honors, he said, whether we choose to admit it or not, the anecdote continues to be an important engine of novel ideas in medicine. So as a reminder, anecdotal evidence of success cases with multiple sclerosis doesn't mean it's not true. It simply means that there hasn't been enough research at this time to determine if their condition has been permanently eradicated. So from here forward, you won't hear me say the word cure. I will only refer to remissions. There has been substantial scientific evidence that's proven that treating multiple sclerosis with several different holistic, that's non-medication based approaches can be quite effective at placing MS into remission and possibly even halting its progression. I've got to tell you, this is huge news. Several years ago, I didn't have access to any of these studies. In fact, we had postponed the release of this video by a couple of months because of new research that we happened to come across and we needed to investigate it for further validity. So what exactly are these treatments? Well, 
You're going to have to tune in to the third part of my video series on multiple sclerosis and peripheral neuropathy treatments to learn all about them. I promise you it will be well worth your wait. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. There are countless people out there who feel alone and hopeless in this battle with peripheral neuropathy. So I'd like to ask you a favor. Please like us because it helps YouTube's algorithm get our information out to more people who truly need our guidance. Until next time, my friends, I look forward to seeing you on the road to great nerve health. Blessings. There hasn't been enough research at this time to determine to determine, <laughs> back up just a little bit for me. Well, you're gonna, I have to burp. <laughs> Sorry, back up. No, no, no I, I can pick up from there.